The Fen Fen Diet Pill Craze? Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little topic video on two compounds that kind of blew me away when I was doing research. We've known how potent amphetamine is for so many things for so long, but these guys have literally tried every possible tweak with this compound, it's hilarious. With chemistry, there's so many little things you could do. I mean, for an example, there's like fluoroamphetamine. So just having amphetamine, you put a fluoro, did you put the fluoro on the two position, the three position? the four position, all of those are different compounds with different effects. So if you're anything like me, when you hear amphetamine, like what do you think? You think, oh, the illegal street drug methamphetamine. Okay, I know about that. And then you're like, okay, maybe you know about Adderall. Like Adderall is just amphetamine salts. You know what I mean? It's the legal amphetamine. And you think, okay, that's pretty much where it ends, right? We don't have any other legal amphetamines. And like the other ones are kind of like Ritalin and things like that. And those are gonna be weaker, so it doesn't even really matter. And if you look at the chemical structure of Ritalin, if I were to just see that I would have no idea that it was going to feel very good. It's going to increase dopamine because it just doesn't look like amphetamine, but apparently it is. So there's these two compounds, phenfluramine and phentermine. These are way, way, way too close to straight amphetamine. I mean, honestly, I think they are pretty much amphetamine. It's so, so, so close. The new compounds we have like DMAA, DMHA, and you look at the chemical structure of those, those are so much farther away from amphetamine than these ones are right Right here and it's interesting that they market them as diet pills now it's obvious that anybody who does a lot of stimulants a lot of illegal stimulants one of the big things it does is take away your appetite you don't need to eat that's what it was kind of marketed as when you look how strong amphetamine is to even give that to kids you know what I mean to even give it to somebody five six you're gonna give them amphetamine like phentermine is like if you look at amphetamine amphetamine has the alpha methylation which is the line that goes down right here instead of one it just has two so it's literally Literally amphetamine with just two lines instead of one. What makes amphetamine so strong is the phenyl group, the amethylation, and the amine at the end. Those are what really pack the punch with amphetamine. So you have all three of those there. So then you have phenfluramine, which is even way, way, way more nuts. If you enmethylate amphetamine, you get methamphetamine. So it's just like this extra little line on top of amphetamine. You know, you see the structure and it's just an extra little extension. So there's actually something called ethyl amphetamine, which is an additional methyl group on top of the already methylated amphetamine. So it's essentially amphetamine double methylated instead of single. But what's weird about it is it takes away a lot of its potency from my understanding. I think it's a lot more uh, serotonin dominant when, when normal amphetamine is gonna be very dopamine dominant. So that was interesting. So you have essentially ethyl amphetamine. And if you guys have been following my channel with the modafinil analogs, I've been trying a lot of compounds that contain fluorine and that contain chlorine. I know it sounds crazy, but 85% of pharmaceutical drugs contain chlorine. And I think about 25% of pharmaceutical drugs contain fluorine. So it's used quite a bit. I like the fluoromodafinil. So you have the ethyl amphetamine, right? And then you have a trifluoro bond in the three position right here. I know it's weird saying the three position, but it's just where it's connected and it will change how it feels to a certain extent. I am already not a big fan of fluorine in compounds, especially the trifluoro compound where it's just like FFF. One of the antidepressants has that as well. And they're also in something called SARMs too, which actually build muscle. And I, once I heard they had the trifluoro bond, I didn't want much to do with it. Anyways, guys, I was blown away. I've never tried these compounds. I've just done a lot of research, a lot of studying. When you look at the chemical structure of amp citrate of DMAA, DMHA. I mean, it's like, eh, they're kind of close to amphetamine, but they're not this close. You look at these and they're just like spot on. And then on top of that, they would tell these poor women to take both because it was more effective. So it's like, we created these two crazy synthetic amphetamines and like, you're gonna come here, you're gonna need to lose weight, you're a little bit fat. Here's a two of these crazy amphetamines to give you and you have no idea. Like, I'm pretty sure a housewife going in there getting some pills has no idea that they're getting like speed essentially, or could be speed. I think um, phentermine is probably gonna be more stimmy 
And I think the fenfluramine, which is the trifluoro one, is gonna be a little bit more estrogen dominant. There actually is research chemicals that are very, very similar to both these compounds. However, they're from these sites that you have to order from outside the US. And I made a video explaining that I ordered from three sites out of the US and all three packages never showed up. So I never wanted to trust it again. The research compounds they have is fluorofentramine. So it's essentially the amphetamine with the two methylations instead of of one and it just has a fluoro on the side. It seems like when you mix a fluoro with a stimulant, it kind of makes it a little more smooth and less kind of jittery, which could be good. I think fentramine is much more of a dopamine heavy versus serotonin. I think normal amphetamine works a little bit on serotonin. I'm not sure. Fenfluramine is essentially, like I was saying, you have the ethyl amphetamine and then you have a trifluoro. There's this compound called 3-FEA, which is 3-fluoroethyl amphetamine, which is essentially fenfluramine except it only has one fluoromethylation instead of three so you have three fea on top of that you have two fea which is the same thing but it's in a different position whenever they switch the position from like two or three or four it seems to feel or an act way differently and then you also have another compound which is kind of similar to fenfluramine and that is three fma which is three fluoromethamphetamine 3-FMA is one of those ethyl groups removed. So instead of it being double methylated from Adderall, it's back down to one. From the research that I've done, it seems like the 3-FEA is closer to MDMA or ecstasy, things like that. Again, I never tried it, probably never will just because they're so hard to get. And if I'm gonna get something, I would want something that's gonna wake me up, not really make me euphoric or serotonin dominant. It's not really my thing. But apparently 3-FMA is the longest lasting of all of the FMAs, there's two FMA, three FMA, and four FMA. Again, I've never tried any of them, but it seems like three FMA, it lasts the longest. People say it lasts 24 hours. Apparently for like two or three hours, it feels very recreational and like ecstasy. And then the rest of the time, it feels much more speedy. Again, I've never tried it. Just kind of wanted to put that out there. So the Fen Fen craze, I can't believe that they gave these to women looking to lose weight. Women were just on random amphetamines and we had no idea. Anyways, guys, let me know if you've heard of the Fen Fen craze. Have you heard of either one of these compounds, I was absolutely blown away because the only amphetamine I thought we used in pharmaceuticals was Adderall. And then they have something called desoxin, which is brand name methamphetamine, which we already knew about those two. I didn't know that there was all these other versions and not just like created on weird sites. Like people have talked about them, you know? And if you're wondering, hey, there's a fluoroamphetamine, is there a chloroamphetamine? And there is, but apparently it's very, very neurotoxic. Apparently it has unrestrained release of dopamine and serotonin, which once you release a certain amount, it becomes toxic because your brain can't function normally. So stay away from that chloroamphetamine, but I know that you can't probably find it. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think of the Fen Fen craze. Was this an interesting video? Was it not? I'd be very interested to see. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys help you guys are the best having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace